you are going to be a painter but without using this because in this video we are going to create a brush art in photoshop by transforming this image into something like this hello everyone dd here welcome to dexplorian where everything is about designing in photoshop and sharing the process with you and in the process we explore various tools techniques and tips and tricks which will improve your workflow and level up your graphic design game Today's technique might seem complex but don't get intimidated by it. By the end of this video you will see how easily you can create this effect. As usual I have divided the whole process into few steps for better understanding. So let's start. Let's create the canvas of our choice and this time I will be selecting the poster A3 size because my plan is to make a print of the poster. And if you are thinking where you can get this canvas presets, they are very easy to create. This process helps me speed up my workflow and if you want to know more about it, I have a video on creating canvas presets where I have explained the whole process. I will give the link in the description. We will bring in the image and drop it onto the canvas. For creating this effect, we are gonna need a model with a nice artistic posture. Another thing to keep in mind while selecting the image is it will be better if the subjects here are short and tightly tied up and his or her dress is as body hugging as possible so that we can get a clear outline of the body. But don't think it has to be this way only. It's your art and you have the full freedom to do it whatever you wish. I'm just suggesting a guideline, that's all. I got this image from unsplash.com. You can find the download link in the description. And now we have to remove the background and for this, I'll be using the pen tool. And why is that? Because we have to have a clean and smooth outline and with other selection tools, the edges will be jaggered and we have to do some extra steps to smoothen it out. I'll now be speeding up the process and won't be explaining it in full because I have made a separate video where I have discussed the pen tool at length and if you want to know more about it, you can watch that video and by now you know where to find it. We'll leave out the stray hairs and the wrinkles in the dress as well. We have to refine the selection a little bit and after all the work here is our subject look how smooth is the selection we'll rename the layer as subject and move on to the next step we'll resize it by holding the alt or option key so that the aspect ratio remains the same and place it at the center of the canvas for the background i want a canvas texture and i will bring that on the canvas as well and rotate it 90 degrees and then resize it to fit the canvas it seems a little dull so we go to image then adjustment and click on brightness and contrast and adjust the sliders to make it a little brighter and bring it below the subject layer. Now we will create the brush stroke effect and for that we will create a new layer just above the subject layer and work on this layer. We will take the brush tool now right click anywhere on the canvas to open the brush settings and go down to select the custom brush called the paint brushes which is a set of 20 brushes. I've downloaded this custom brush from brusheasy.com. I have mentioned this website in many of my videos and this is my go-to place when it comes to custom brushes. You can get a wide collection of Photoshop brushes tailored for specific purposes and I highly recommend you to check out the website. And for this brush, which I am using today, you can get the download link in the description. I'll be using the brush number three. You can choose whichever you want. You can even use them in combinations also. I want the brush to be narrower so I will go here and click and hold this point, move it like this and now our brush is narrow. We can rotate our brush by clicking and dragging this arrow to align the brush along with the subject. Click on the right and left square record keys to decrease or increase the size of the brush and when you are done just click once to apply the stroke. We can also rotate the brush by clicking on the left and right arrow keys and go on adding the strokes in different directions. I think this much will be enough. Then we'll activate the selection of the subject by holding the controller command key and clicking on the layer mask of the subject layer and add a layer mask to the strokes layer. And now if you turn off the visibility of the subject layer, we get this. And if you are already finding this interesting, please hit the like button and keep making similar contents. So if you wish, you can subscribe to the channel and I'll be ever thankful to you for that. Now let's get back to our canvas. We'll refine it a little further. I'll reveal some strokes on this side of the subject. We'll select the layer mask of the strokes layer and change the foreground color to white by pressing the X key and paint with this brush only to reveal. We 
will again activate the selection of the subject layer and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift and I to invert the selection so that we can apply the strokes only to the outside of the selection and the inside remains untouched. Now we again invert the selection and click on the icon of the strokes layer and add few more strokes. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect and following the same procedure I've just shown you, you can further refine and fine tune it. I think I will stop here but you can go on and we'll rename the layer as brush strokes. Before moving on, we'll select these two layers and link them together so that we are covered in case of any unprecedented accidents. We'll again resize, rotate and position our subject and then add some effects to make it more realistic. We'll double click here on the blank space of the brush strokes layer to open the layer style dialog box. We'll click here on bevel and emboss and change the style to inner bevel and the select the chisel hard in techniques. And now adjust the depth slider to increase or decrease the effect. I will keep it at 126 and keep everything else as it is and click OK. I will take it a little further by blending it with the background and for that we go to the layer styles again and go to blend if options here. We'll adjust only the sliders of the underlying layer. We'll hold the order option key and click on the handle here to split it into half and then slide this towards the left and now it's blending nicely with the background. Now you can see the difference before and after. We are done with the subject and now we'll be adding some other elements to the poster. We are going to add some text and for that we take the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas and type in our text. I'm sure by now you all know how to add text so I'll skip the details here. I will change its blend mode to overlay and change its opacity to 50%. I will make two more copies of it by simply holding the Alt or Option key and clicking and dragging and double click to edit it. I will change the color of the letter T to red. I want to make the letter slightly slanting and how are we going to do that? We will hold the Ctrl or Command key and grab one of these handles here and drag to skew it. Let's group these three layers together and now we can resize and move them together. Just as my all other poster designs, I will be adding the coat. I'll also be adding a line here and for that we take the line tool, you can find it here. Hold the shift key while drawing the line to make it horizontally straight. This code is from the great artist Pablo Picasso and so lastly I'm going to add his name. If you want you can group all of these elements together. And with this we have completed today's poster. Hope you like the poster and the process of making it and I have many more videos like this lined up for you. So keep the notifications on and if you want to transform your photos into oil paintings, this is the video for you.